Thank you so much for joining us this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday morning. I tell you, it's actually a bumper package. This is the bumper breakfast. Everything on the show is bumper, as it were. My name is Ife Onyebule. And I am Tomi Singh Ojo. Good to see you. Good to see you. The elections are actually, you know, the fever is kicking up. Everyone's... Um, mm -hmm. Yes, there was all rally, 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 rally. All over the place. But not political rallies. You know, you know the... My neighbor Congress had their rally from place to place, from actually from mm. government house to government house. And right. they, they got good responses. It was a very good concert. Mm. They got very, very good. good. Ocean Stage, they went to Jigawa, Sabuto, Kano, um, Taraba. Mm. They got good. You know, the, gov the governors, uh, the representative of the governors, anyway, mm. you know, give them their word. We will buy. Wow. We will pay when the government, when the federal government, you know, it's like pushing it back to the buckle. To, mm. the to the table of it, like pass it, send this bill, and we'll, and we'll buy into it. All right, let's just launch straight into the papers. I have the Daily Independent, the Nation newspaper, and the Guardian this morning. All right, I have the Punch and the Nigerian Tree. We'll quickly dig into it. I take you straight to the front page of the Daily Independent. Federal government to transmit minimum wage bill to the National Assembly January the 23rd. Of course, that's uh, one of the uh, part of what Tommy just yeah, talked about now. Yeah. Workers won't relent on mm -hmm. 30,000 Naira demand. NLC is actually insisting. IPOB, Igbo APC leaders wary of campaigning for Buhari in the South is. Why is this? Of course, page four gives you the details to that story. Lagos APC rally turns bloody. Five killed, several injured. Cult clashes claim four lives in Edo. We've not even started. Yeah. And lives are being lost this way. <laughs> Banks. There was a shooting in Lagos. There was? Yeah. Where was I? Rally yeah, that's what I just talked about. APC rally turns bloody. Five killed, several injured. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's the story this morning. Trade optimism, rebounding oil prices boost the Naira. We look at the back page of the Daily Independent. Perverted national institutions in Nigeria's failure. The NIMC, uh, that's something you want to read up on. The Amicus Constitutional is right here on the back page of the Daily Independent. A quick look into some of the inside stories. Federal government to rally support for military plan and plans national campaign. How African nations can sustain peace. President Muhammad Buhari is talking, and all of that you find on page three of the Daily Independent. We look at page five. We need legal backing for electronic transmission of results. INEC is talking this morning. Banks actually jittery over uh, the teleology uh, pullout from Nine Mobile. You can read up that story. It's on page five. Um, what exactly is the view this morning? Daily Independence view, I tell you, it's still on the minimum wage. You can get to read that up. Desirable as it is for the country to embrace the new minimum wage, what will impact more positively on workers? The present clamor needs to be taken with great caution. Else, a seeming truce between government and labor provokes an unpleasant welcome for the workers. I'd like you to read up on the stories on page 16, the view of the independent this morning. And that's what you get right there in the paper. Right on the front page of the punch, uh, the center spread, we have federal government, labor, sign pact, national assembly to get minimum wage bill, January 23. Finally, we mm. have <laughs> Yes. And then finally, the federal government is giving their word. 23, just then, 23rd of um, January, and we're hopeful that this is sacrosanct. It will just happen, and we move on. We can move past all of this. All right, Lagos Ibadan Rail Federal Government orders importation of 30 coaches and 300 wagons. I can't wait to go to Ibadan Rail. It's going to be an interesting ride. When? <laughs> when do you want to go? I say Easter break. Who says? Easter break. You have a show to present. <laughs> I'll just find a way to go in the evening. Okay. <laughs> right, sister politicians mustn't deliver Quara to Lagos Spain masters. Mm. Mm, that's from Saraki and Fire Show Lujimi inaugurate parallel Atiku campaign teams. That's from Ikiti State. Investors to inject $1.7 billion in Kwa Iboy power project. Kwa Ibo. It's Kwa Ibo. <laughs> Kwa Ibo. Let's go. Kwa Ibo. Kwa Ibo. Right, why I haven't fired service chiefs acted on IG. Buhari fight against insurgency recorded setbacks for the government admits. Salah retains calf best player oh, of the year award. 
And to the board tax article says ex president, ex vice president, not fit for president. An interesting one right here. Amber Day arrests soldiers, others for driving against traffic. MC Oluomo journalist attacked the stalks, destroyed Lagos APC rally. Soldiers have been arrested for driving against traffic. And that's hmm. an interesting one for me. Very interesting. Because, uh, when I read it yesterday, I think on social media, I said, yeah, that's it. I remember um, the former governor. But you're in a yes, uniform. Not, yes, that's not me. You should violate or you it, know, does, it doesn't mean that. the law of the land. Hmm. Um, right on the back page, we have 2019 elections on the media. That's from Le Conchote. And um, the article is right there. If you'd like to read, but well, let's let's take a bit from the salvo this morning. Mm. We <laughs> as traditional rulers live with the people, and we know the pains they go through. We feel the pain when we are faced with violence. We are totally committed to peace in Benue, and we are prepared to pay the price to ensure peace. Whoever wants to cause chaos, the land will be against such a person. And that's from the chairman, Benue State Traditional Council for Chief. Professor James Ayatse on the need for peace in the state during the forthcoming elections. Hmm, good one. So traditional institutions are also rising up to the task. They are. Ensuring that every man and woman knows that 2019 election must be peaceful. It has to be. And fair. All right. Okay, we'll look at the front page of the Nation newspaper. Sad story there. Heartbreaking pictures, I tell you. You never know what it is until you lose a loved one. Do you understand? All right, the front page of the nation this morning. We must throw in everything to ensure they didn't die in vain. Tearful final bye for five officers who died in Air Force plane crash. The pictures are there. The falling heroes. Wife of the late Lance Corporal Adamo Nura. Hosanna and her children. Wow. She's just watching, looking like that. You have the mother of one of them and you know it's it's such a sad story yeah. but may their souls rest in peace minimum wage bill for transmission january the 23rd more 13 percent derivation cash coming for oil states and a kitty official abducted ambody arrest soldier for driving against traffic takes our mind back to when the former governor What's had that? to stop someone yes. on the brt lane well maybe they think they could try it because fashala was you know away and now in abuja you now think <laughs> the governor here won't we'll hold you it. anyway he stopped you you're going to face the music no matter who it is i uh, think you are salah is africa's best well child we're talking about that in a few tinubu blasts pdp and article apc chief rallies buhari campaign council members ahead of the poll and he says when buhari says yes or no you know where he stands he means what he says no more no less with Atiku, things are more nuanced. When Atiku speaks, the man means, or he may mean yes, no, maybe, I don't know, come back tomorrow, all <laughs> the above, or none of the above. Well, those are not my words. It's right here on the front page of the Nation newspaper. It's actually cracking to me see up this morning. Ambody, Lagos deserves continuity. 63 parties back from Wulu and the NURTW factions clash i can see a sea of heads uh, uh sea of heads here at that campaign rally before a huge crowd lagos state governor kiumi ambody yesterday urged residents to embrace a government of continuity let me not say more the nation gives you more on that you can read it up we'll look at the back page of the nation finally the buhari effect and what is it <laughs> look at the back page of the nation and you get to know i think it's a four plus four thingy don't take pictures so that um, <laughs> you won't have that training. Oh. The season of surrender is also on the back page of the nation. Yeah. The hardball this morning, pilgrimage problem. Uh, you can read that up. Ripples, that's the cartoon, will dislodge railway line traders. Task force talking. You need to read up what is right there. A quickly look at page five of the nation newspaper. Suspected kidnappers abduct director in Ekiti. That's a very sad one. And I'm sure it's something you want to read up on. Government to hold emergency meeting. Six the monarch support on that. Court remands man for allegedly raping three kids. What is it with children? Well that's to tell you we're looking at something today on the show. Yeah. It's something you don't want to miss. It's about the molestation of boys. We keep talking about girls, girls, girls. 
happen you don't even know what it is the boy child goes through. through we have some people they're already in the studio and they'll be talking about that on the other side of nine you will hear crazy stories about how adults men and women molest little boys i saw a report by one of our colleagues in channels that's um chris elems he did a report of an 11 year old boy in the north who was molested was raped and raped and all of a sudden he got infected his tummy was bloating people were rumoring that a little boy was pregnant who does that mm. you know so you get to hear about all of that on the show today and the early enough 23 suspected uh, cocaine pushers people still push cocaine well yeah, there you go the story is right here on page five of the nation page um, seven federal government labor rich truce on minimum wage bill documentation for transmission to the national assembly by the 23rd of this month and Badi's wife children removed from watch list that's some good news uh, for his family it's on page seven of the nation all right some inside pages from the punch newspaper this morning uh, right we'll start with the court jails 81 year old ex-soldier 25 years for killing wow um an adoikiti state high court on tuesday sentenced a retired military man 81 year old um, richard Ogumboyo to 25 years in prison for killing one felix esson um, Ogumboyo happened to be the head of a vigilante group in Nyekiti and was said to have committed the offense on the 15th of december 2016 and said the charge of murder against the convict could not be substantiated but the case of manslaughter was um, established uh, so that goes to tell you since 2016 it goes to tell you that no matter how long it takes to bring up you know a suspect to book mm. you will definitely it will happen get what is coming to you and um we have the story uh government abducted is a council director the they abducted the director of administration of Boni local government area of the state mr david jejelow and his driver along the Ado Ekiti Ijon Ekiti Road. Hmm. Right, um, that's another kidnapping and the government. Thank God he's not being killed, but uh, he was abducted. I hope uh, it can be resolved quickly and that can be sorted out. But an interesting one here Lagos starts reality TV show for emergency operations. Mm, that's a good one. Uh, the Lagos State Government on Tuesday said it had started a reality TV show to showcase the efforts of the government agencies in managing emergencies. Uh, the State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Kendi Mamibeton, in a statement or, uh, or said the program tag Lagos Rescue was also designed to enlighten residents. While we cannot avoid emergency in the state, the government remains committed to ensuring immediate and effective response to emergency situation. And if you've not used the emergency situation, although we pray for good every time but if you get to see something that requires some emergency you know intervention of the government mm. you can just dial they have the number to call 111 it is and then in five minutes less than 10 minutes. no if you talk about that lagos has it the response and you I'm, know rate is alarming have like that. it's lovely just take this from lagos they've tried it he what just you know imbibe it adopt it adopt the model it has worked and you know, immediately, it's happened a couple of times to a friend of mine, and each time he needs to... Maybe we need somebody who's back. been at the helm of affairs here in Lagos to be at the helm of affairs right there in Abuja, so that everything exactly. that happens here... I'm sure some people will be asking for my head on a platter now to say, if he, you can't see everything in Lagos should be adopted at the national well, level, but most working, of it, the things it? that are working, should truly be adopted. Yes, at the national level. Mm. All right, Tom. Um, Let's move on to the next newspaper. Well, right, the Guardian this morning, front page of the Guardian newspaper, three feared killed as APC begins campaign in Lagos. Party chairman apologizes and blames infiltrators. Um, three persons were feared killed while others sustained injuries as the APC began its gubernatorial campaign in Lagos yesterday. The trouble started around 1.30 p.m. as Governor Kim Miambodi delivered his speech which was interrupted by gunshots from hoodlums and security officials. I'll just take a pause there, read up the story, continues right there on page six. Um, presidency alleges violation of peace by pact, uh, peace pact by PDP. It's on page three and Salah uh, retains African footballer of the year award. Uh, government loses claims on efficiency with four trillion naira recurrent expenditure plan 
recurrent expenditure at four trillion betrays government's efficiency claims. Buhari urges African soldiers with political ambition to resign. Government plans campaign to rally support for military. I knew about my husband's death on WhatsApp, says widow of NAF pilot. There you go. You're on WhatsApp. You're just sharing things. And that's, that, that brings us to what we're talking about on Friday, Friday. about social Someone media. Social, social media. media. Do you know what it feels themselves. like to be forwarded here and there? I've been a victim. Mm. I woke up one morning and there was this crazy audio to me <laughs> with my picture all over the place. My phone was buzzing like crazy. If I saw this, is this you? By one woman, a Caribbean, she was speaking whatever, saying all sorts. And somebody looked for a random picture. I took my picture attached to that video and it was all over i got calls as far as finland japan china the u.s you know my relatives there people were just calling me i said well i don't know this woman i don't know anything about it, it was just a random picture so people go through a lot it didn't yeah. deter me anyway when people got tired of forwarding it in fact i forwarded it to my late husband he got it so many times and we just we used to sit down and laugh about it and he says look if you have the kind of powers they say you have why are we still here <laughs> conjure or whatnot so that we can be as rich as can be you know so that's kind of crazy i knew about my husband's death on whatsapp says widow of the nef pilot it's really well, sad but why do people do that do yeah when they go to an accident scene what they do is take pictures of mangled bodies and you want to be the first to post it it's i crazy. think that's bad very and crazy that people actually like such pictures on social media no. you shouldn't like such i think pictures. the, the, the facebook shy. um gentleman should do something about knocking people give us an icon that knocks people for such thing who likes such a thing you know so that's really sad for a woman to find that out on whatsapp and the way people share things yeah. is truly not nice the back page of the guardian of course that's about sports we'll leave that 8 30 you'll be joining shire on the show um look at page three of the guardian buhari urges african soldiers with political ambition to resign can versus stronger institutions uh we need strong institutions also here in nigeria where people can be you know uh, liable no one should be above the law Presidency alleges violation of peace pact by the PDP. Opposition cautions Tinubu against derogatory remarks on article. Uh, page 5 of the Guardian. Governors opposing Labour's demand insensitive to workers' plight. NLC urges Ibazu to implement the pay. That's Ibazu, that's the Abia state governor. Demonstrations holding Edo Kebi states. Pay 30,000 naira. Employees tell Obiano, Obiano of Anambra state a quick look at page seven before Tommy uh, takes off government plans campaign to rally support for the military and kidnappers miss XPCA capture LG service commission DJ and driver read up all of these juicy stories on page seven of the Guardian all right uh, the last paper we're looking at this morning I believe I'm correct um, yes Nigerian you Tribune. are <laughs> the nigerian tribune we have rain of bullets at lagos apc Guba campaign kickoff and that's um, on the center spread there riders three generally sustained bullet wounds and see a stabbed and many others injured and you have a picture right there of uh, one of the victims being carried away from the venue of the event uh federal government to send minimum wage bill to nas january 23rd no 30,000, no vote. Labor tells government. Kano Benwe, Niger, Sogodo offer to pay if the bill is sent. It is Boris prerogative to extend IGP's tenure. And that's from the federal government. It's on page three of the Nigerian Tribune. Call PDP to order. Presidency tells Abdul Salami Committee. And that's on page 34 of the Nigerian Tribune. Our form government of national unity, if elected, Olawe Kwasim. You know, tells us that on page 10, and she is as Air Force buries remains of helicopter crash pilots and crew members. Another very touching picture right here um, on the front page. And that story is on page 2 of the Nigerian Tribune. Why we rejected electronic transmission of results? And that's from my neck. I know quite a number of people are calling on INEC to just transmit the results electronically. Mm. But the INEC chairman is telling you why he, he wouldn't do that. And why he wouldn't <laughs> do that. We're just talking about doctoring things, putting your picture and then putting somebody's voice and then you know you're talking and you're not the one talking. So something can just happen. You know people doctor bank alerts now. They do all sorts of things. So they send you messages, putting your number, your account is gonna be shut down now. 
and uh, why <laughs> fraud i don't get it if this we already have a very poor a very uh, dangerous the way we take advantage of social media we seem to do more bad than good many social people are very happy to you know do terrible things this morning yeah. i saw a picture of um, i think the pdp presidential candidate with a woman in yeah. something that looks like a room some say it's a hotel and someone you know who's expected to know shared it that he was seen with his concubine <laughs> in one hotel i read the, the the thread it had about over 80 comments and one person said there or some other person said there look this is one of his wives because he said he was caught in a hotel with a concubine the man said look this is his wife and the person belongs the person did say that he belongs in the apc and says look this is very wrong when you talk about dirty campaigns don't go there talk about issues i also saw another one they peddled about um the man who's running on the platform of the apc in lagos that's babajide Songolu, dressed in some rags looking like a madman who does that you know people things, and you find out that some of these politicians don't even know about it they are they're they're very uh, how do I call these their supporters? Just come mm -hmm. up, sit down in their rooms. You have an app that can do whatever. You put it together, and you who do, who's does such a thing? Does such a thing? It's all so right, nice. Um, we have this very very touching picture. Um, the chief of her staff, you know, consoling the wife of flight lieutenant Kaito Paul mm. the Ufaz, uh, during the burial of the five yesterday, and um, you know, she was carrying a child who is actually handicapped. That and baby will never know the and father it, it means, so something needs to be done uh, you know to take care of them you shouldn't just go beyond sympathizing and all that the federal government should actually take charge of those families and do something substantial for them you know keep them tie them over mm. as it were and um zamfara government detrones two district heads 700 cows recovered from nine rustlers as in some zamfara state i think those rustlers should um, they should be paraded so people, people know them. People just know them. Just and know their exactly. Faces. Exactly. They should be paraded. These two were dethroned because they were involved. then um thank you for still being there in a few minutes of course we'll be going into sports you want to quickly look at something um yes um ig appoints a ig lacano's for secretary and we have um, this picture of an abandoned baby hmm. who was found um let's just add our voice to it um an abandoned baby of about three weeks old i uh, was found uh, victor amosu and it was found in a